Matt Mason, The Pirate's Dilemma, How Youth Culture is Reinventing Capitalism. Welcome to the fascinating world of The Pirate's Dilemma, How Youth Culture is Reinventing Capitalism by Matt Mason. In this summary, you will explore the ways piracy, often seen as a threat, can actually lead to innovation and inspiration. Discover how pirates manipulate intellectual property, create new public spaces, and impact cultural outlets. Learn about the historical precedent of market innovation and the benefits of open source culture. You will delve into the world of punk capitalism, the creation of previously unclaimed spaces, and the importance of listening to your audience. This summary will provide you with insights on how piracy has changed the way we approach markets and businesses and its relevance in shaping the future of capitalism. The Other Side of Piracy Piracy is more than just looting, it's about creation, reinvention, and the meeting of ideas. From graffiti artists to musicians, pirates have made their mark on society by modifying and sharing intellectual property. Even the creation of new public spaces to share these ideas has been made possible by pirates. And, with easy access to technology, the pirate world of ideas and media is only growing larger. This book shows us how piracy has impacted our lives and how we've benefited from its existence without even realizing it. It's time to reconsider our perception of pirates and their influence on society. Pirates, a necessary evil. Pirates, such as pirate radio DJs and MP3 sharers, have paved the way to give us more options and control over our media consumption. Often working outside of the restrictive framework of markets and cultural outlets, pirates inspire innovation, creativity, and efficiency. Piracy cuts through the bureaucracy of the market, allowing new ideas to develop quickly. The success of pirates' models is due to their ability to answer market needs. Businesses often adopt their methods to increase their sales and respond to consumer needs. The Future of 3D Printing the rise of 3D printers is transforming the production process as we know it, with large companies like Adidas, BMW, and Sony already developing prototypes to speed up production. The technology could potentially make it affordable for anyone to manufacture anything, including designer products currently out of reach for many consumers. However, this also creates significant challenges, particularly in terms of intellectual property and piracy. As 3D printers become more widespread, centralized mass production may no longer serve a purpose, and the value of products could be determined solely on their creativity and design rather than scarcity. As this transformation is inevitable, businesses need to start considering how they plan to adapt to this life-changing future. The Open Source Movement The open source movement encourages the sharing and accumulation of knowledge, allowing people to use and innovate on existing ideas and products legally. Wikipedia is an excellent example of the power of the open source method. The decentralized and open source approach has led to one of the most comprehensive collections of knowledge. The open source philosophy set the course for history by ensuring that the building blocks of the internet could be utilized by anyone, leading to opportunities for all and profits for companies. The open source platform created new job opportunities by creating new markets and services. The movement gave birth to free software, such as Unix and Usenet, upon which the internet was born. Companies like Google, eBay, and Facebook innovated and profited on the internet's shoulders. The open source economy offers opportunities for self-employment, as individuals find ways to get paid for doing what they're passionate about. The Power of Open Source Culture the concept of open source culture promotes the sharing of knowledge and ideas, which can lead to greater benefits for society as a whole. By enabling consumers to access and use patent-free methods to create new things more efficiently, it offers an alternative to hoarding intellectual property. While not all industries have adopted this philosophy, open source culture has allowed many companies to access the online market, rather than it being controlled by a select few. On the other hand, the lack of affordable access to certain products and services has forced many consumers to resort to piracy. However, if such products were open source, 
they could reach more people and even save lives. The trend towards sharing information, legally or otherwise, remains prevalent, and it is important to understand how to stay competitive in a world where piracy is inevitable. The Pirate's Dilemma The concept of piracy has proven beneficial in creating new trends and making ideas more accessible for everyone. The question that arises is how businesses should handle piracy, should they embrace it or squash it. Ignoring market demand leads to a loss of profits, rather, piracy can be considered a valuable business model. Businesses that view pirates as competitors with valuable ideas adapt better to the changing market. According to Ann Sweeney, piracy is a business model that competes in quality, price, and availability, and only by making the content available on demand can businesses compete with it. Steve Jobs' iTunes Store has successfully competed with CD burning and MP3 sharing pirates by offering cheap and readily available music downloads. The article emphasizes the importance of viewing piracy as a force for innovation rather than a nuisance. Punk Capitalism and the Power of Individuality The DIY philosophy and rejection of mass-market forces in punk capitalism have created a culture that empowers individuals. This movement has influenced music, fashion, and entrepreneurship, inspiring altruism and a positive force for change. Piracy has been around for millennia, but punk capitalism has redefined its use as a force for change. The most influential idea from punk capitalism is the DIY philosophy and refusal to be bound by mass market forces. The power of individuals empowered by technology is the focus of punk capitalists' culture. This rejection of authority and emphasis on individuality has influenced music, fashion, and entrepreneurship. Punk rockers, such as Richard Hell, inspired young people to express themselves freely and reject conformity. The culture of punk capitalism emphasizes altruism, giving away services for the benefit of others, which has numerous positive effects. It attracts others to your cause, making it a positive force for change. The disco DJs of the 70s knew the direct and ancillary benefits of altruism, promoting others' music while attracting others to their movement. This same altruism is what drives people to support Wikipedia and other similar movements that prioritize knowledge sharing. Punk capitalism shows that anyone can reject the mass market and make their mark on the world. Punk capitalism in hip-hop The punk capitalism philosophy is not limited to a specific genre or style. After the success of the punk music industry in the 70s and their D.I.Y approach, hip-hop entrepreneurs learned to use the same philosophy in entrepreneurship, succeeding significantly. Hip-hop entrepreneurs redefined the remix by sampling parts of older songs creatively, reinventing them and creating something novel. They also resist authority by communicating their experiences of the world and maintaining authenticity in branding. This is exemplified by the likes of P. Diddy, Russell Simmons, and Jay-Z who invest in charities and change the world while profiting. Therefore, hip-hop culture and punk capitalism share the do-it-yourself mentality make new things from older items, resist authority, and are altruistic in their profit-making ventures. Authenticity matters. Advertisers are constantly trying to appeal to consumers by co-opting new trends and hiring popular figures to endorse their products. However, this approach has become ineffective as consumers have become wary of inauthentic advertising. Empty advertising has caused consumers to value substance and the intent of a brand over their image. Consumers prefer companies that treat their employees well and offer quality products over those that employ sweatshop labor and value only brand image. For example, American Apparel has seen immense success by selling logo-less clothes that offer basic wardrobe pieces. Finding your space To succeed as a pirate or punk capitalist, you need to find unclaimed spaces for your business. Look beyond the existing market and create a vehicle to promote yourself independently. Once you've found your space, involve your audience and make sure they benefit. Renowned promoter David Mancuso created a space where his audience wanted to participate by providing early access to records and feeding them.
As we conclude our summary of The Pirate's Dilemma, How Youth Culture is Reinventing Capitalism, we are left with a greater understanding of how piracy, in all its forms, has impacted the way we approach the world of business and creativity. Pirates have shown us that by breaking from traditional rules, pushing boundaries, and taking risks, it's possible to innovate and inspire improvements across various industries. Open source culture has also played a significant role in allowing for collaboration and fostering collective growth, ultimately benefiting society as a whole. It's clear that understanding, embracing, and competing with the pirate mindset will be essential for businesses to thrive in an ever-evolving market. Embrace the spirit of the pirates and bring forth a reinvention of capitalism driven by creativity, innovation, and collaboration.